How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day. If it's morning, night, evening, whatever it is, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Michael Chirac and you're watching State Painting Care and Quality. So today I originally planned on doing a video showing the updates or really new additions to my family in ball pythons. The past six to eight months I have acquired about five to six new animals and today was going to be a day where I actually showed them off in detail and really told a little bit of my plans for them but it's been rainy, gloomy and I really won't be able to get the shots that I would like to show their actual true colors. So today I just decided to make a little fun video and show you how much my bearded dragons really do love squash. They typically love green squash but right now I only have some yellow squash. I'm going to show you how much bearded dragons really do love squash. So without further ado, let's get this going. Now, I want to explain something real quick. Hey, hey, 
It's your disabled sister over here. Normally, you should not keep bearded dragons in the same enclosure. The only reason I do, this is a special situation. The only way you really should be able to keep bearded dragons together is if they're two females around the same size or big enough where they cannot get bullied or injured or where the female mother or whatever it is, the bigger female cannot try to eat the other one. Because yes, if you put a female dragon in with her babies that are hatchlings, she will most likely eat them thinking that they are food and that is not her fault. It would be our fault for being a little silly for doing that. But just a little advice, if you want to keep two bearded dragons together, make sure that they are female like I mentioned, this is a little special situation because these are actually all siblings. These three, female, female, and male, have grown up together. And the only reason I kept them together is because they seem to get along. They never bully each other. They never try to bite each other. They never try to do anything of the sort. You still hungry, girl? But as you see, they absolutely love squash. I don't really understand, but once they get the green squash, which this is yellow, they see the little green edge, then they see the discs. I cut little thin discs, and it makes it a little easier for me to feed with my hand. Now, I started them off with green squash. Now, they'll eat anything that looks like a disc, like this. And they actually really like the flavor. They like the fact is a little heavier than say lettuce or romaine spinach and collard greens do not feed your your bearded dragons kale because it actually is very hard for them to, to digest and if they eat too much of it they can get backed up and have some serious problems this is my little sweetheart. She is actually double jointed where her wrists always are backwards when she's sitting around or walking. But she has been doing very well and thriving. She took a lot of work to get to where she is. And this is my little girl, Penelope. This girl is Sunrise. It's a rainy day and dragons actually sort of can sense that. So they're not the brightest as they normally are. But this is my girl Sunrise. She is normally a lot brighter orange and has a really nice orange outline on where her spikes are. And this is my buddy Steve. Stevie for sure, or just Steve, you know what I mean? This is my buddy. He is doing very well. And this is only a 40 gallon tank, but eventually I'm actually gonna be moving soon and they're all gonna get their own tanks where they're gonna have a little more space for themselves to roam around and enjoy their enclosures. Always try to have some branches right next to the heat spot. There's a little thing over here with another UVB and a very low heat bulb that's actually 50 watts. And that's just to help with a big enclosure that's actually a little hard to warm up sometimes. In the mornings, I typically do not have to turn the lights on because the sun is shining through and there's a lot of heat from the sun, not to mention the vitamins and all the nutrition that they get from the natural sunlight. But like I mentioned before, you typically would not want to house dragons together. Sometimes you can, it really depends on the dragon, but a lot of times they could be fighting, especially if it's two males. I had two males when I was younger that grew up together from babies and they were completely fine together for years until I brought a female into my room Next thing you know, have to separate them. They were going crazy. Very good, girl. Very good. Thank you for viewing. I just want to say sorry about not putting out the video of my new ball python upgrades or new family members, you would call them. Because that's what I call them. They're my family members. And they're here to stay for a very long time. I'm going to be posting that video most likely on Wednesday, so if you can, please hit that thumbs up, the like button, and subscribe to this channel so you get notifications to new videos when I post them. Thank you very much, and I appreciate everyone's support, and have a great day.